So Lagless completely got broken by a new glitch that was found by a couple people on the uh, Steam forums originally. I was challenged to do a jumpless no escape run and I found a route for that and the discussion continued on the same thread and it ultimately led to uh, someone f figuring out how to uh, beat the game without lag glitch with a uh, green gun uh, using a new uh, glitch he found. It's called uh, cube chambering or cube storage. Basically what happens is the, uh, the gun can hold a cube in a uh, chamber or store it in a chamber uh, outside of what you can actually see inside of the gun. So I'm just going to walk through the route real quick and explain everything as I go. The timer's probably going to start automatically when I click here, so I'm just going to leave that running. And if you can see the timer, those are the splits that you should use in anti-timer. Uh, gun blue, gun green, sign number 116 and sign number 118. 116 is when the chase starts and 118 is when the escape starts. Uh, and then uh, completion condition is credits complete. So, timer's going to start. And regular blue gun route, you just want to jump off of here and fall all the way to the bottom. Walk forwards here and turn to the left and walk down this corridor. It's all dark. And when you get here, back up and enter the blue gun area. Pick up the blue gun and hit escape. I'm hitting Q because uh, my escape is bound to Q. And then you want to map back to Leap of Faith and turn around directly after you pick up Blue Gun. You want to do this as quickly as possible. You probably want to even turn around before you hit escape. Because that'll get you facing the map a lot faster. And then just look at this eye. If you want to line up for the next cube, it's right around here. And then just walk forward, pick up the cube, walk forward again, pick up that cube. And then leapfrog these cubes until you get one in the center. Place a cube in between the blue and black uh, lines. And that's where the door is, so you can pick that cube up. You want to pick this one up as you walk through. So, like that, as you walk through. Place that one, and then place this one and walk backwards. Once you pass uh, this doorway, and you're past uh, this line, you can hit escape, and if you were facing backwards, you should be looking at the map already. You want to go to learning to draw right here. This is where the green gun is. It places you right on top of the green gun, so you automatically pick it up. Go ahead and hit escape right after you map to learning to draw. And here's where, if you knew the previous lagless route, this is where the new route starts. Uh, it follows a lot more closely to the regular any percent route now. You want to map back to Leap of Faith again and go to Fly to pick up cubes. You only need a few cubes, the very few cubes, even less than any percent, probably just as many as this L is, and then just those. You just need very few cubes. So, I mean, you could, you could walk up and spam right-click like this along the cubes, and you'd probably just have enough uh, right as you walk up to it. Come back to walk and jump off and go to the side that juts out because that's where the exit room is. You want to click in the middle and drag up so it connects and then click and drag across so you have one cube sticking out from the bottom here. Pick up just that cube or drag across and pick up all those. It really doesn't matter at all because you're only going to be needing two cubes um, or just one for this section. Uh, now what you want to do is, as long as you have one cube in the uh, gun, you don't need these, but it doesn't matter. As long as you have one cube in the gun, hold right click and then left click. And then once you walk through the field, release right click and it'll shoot a cube. That's the new glitch called uh, cube chambering or cube storage. Basically the gun just holds a cube in its uh, chamber. Once you place one here, go back through the field pick up a cube and do the same thing. You can go ahead and hold right click here and then hold left click 
and walk back through the field, be sure not to aim on top of the cube you already placed or else it'll pick it up and you'll only be left with one cube total. So release right click again so you have two. Be sure you didn't pick up the first one by accident and then pick up both of them. And now you can go do uh, the chase and the escape. Pretty much the same way you do them in any percent without the pillaring. So you want to get on the jump pad, probably get glitch jump if you can, like that, and then uh, go through the uh, teleporter windows right here, or transporter windows, and then it's regular any percent route up until disappearing stairs. Here's where the uh, second cube comes into play. If you notice how this area is dark right now, you want to walk into this frame so that you get a, uh, a frame on this side. Place the cube anywhere where it would be under your head level or eye level, it, like here is good. And then notice how you can see the cube. You want to walk back into the first frame and now notice it's darkened out again. You want to walk around so you can see the corner of the cube and then walk into the cube. You'll skip the uh, the bounce pad room and you'll be right into the pink room it's difficult to do that with one cube only usually any percent does it with two but it's most likely worth it to spend the extra time to get that cube and do that clipping right here what you want to do is as you're walking around that bridge is going to be disappearing you want to walk up and then hold shift because uh you can still walk on this bridge uh while the one underneath is disappearing because this one won't uh, disappear until you walk to the edge and it disappears and then if you step back up if you notice uh, there's a line right here it's very dim there's a line right there that's where the uh, bridge steps down that's where you can make it disappear right there is the uh, step down so if you're up here it's gonna be there if you're down there it's going to disappear so you want to uh, you want to walk around this corner, get on this bridge, hold shift, and walk to the side to make the bottom section disappear. Or the, uh, the top one disappear. Something like this, probably. And then just hold shift or shift tap all the way up here, and then release and run along the appearing path into the uh, exit of disappearing stairs. Right here, you should still have one cube left. If you don't, then you've done something wrong. When this sign loads, which is back here, apparently, uh, but when you're basically in line with it, you want to shoot a cube at the door up there and then hit escape before that cube lands. So something like that, and then turn to the right. You want to click on the escape now and turn around and your cube that you shot will be there. You skipped walking from that black section all the way up to here and then just turn to the left place the cube and you're pretty much done with the game just suck up the uh, black ghost place it on the ground jump and walk off and then look through the cracks in the floor to pick up the black ghost jump off again and hold backwards and then try to strafe over so you can land on top of the dome and then shoot the cube in as it opens I'm just going to go back to the main hub because the ending sequence is really loud. But that is when splits end, right when you the uh, black ghost hits the gray floating cube in uh, the end area. Um, if you have anti-timer, then it'll stop for you. You don't have to worry about when splits uh, start and stop. But uh, you can watch the anti-timer uh, configuration tutorial for that. Otherwise, that's the new route. Uh, the only portion that is unknown currently is whether getting the second cube uh, after passing this field is worth it or not. And that will become apparent after more, um, after we've tested more uh, with some more precise timing and more people doing runs of this route. So if you want to do your own testing, uh, go ahead and go through the run, getting only one cube after this, and do the whole run. Don't do the clipping. Uh, 
don't do the clipping up here. If you want to test the alternate route, just uh, don't do the clipping up here. Don't do this section. And instead, you would uh, walk through here. And right when you walk into this room, don't look at the eye before you walk in. If you're going to uh, do this room, walk in and then look at the eye because it's uh, it'll make the eye go away faster. And then get on the jump pad and you'll go through. If you're already looking at the eye when you walk in, then it's going to start opening uh, later than it would if you walk in and then look at it. Notice it blinks right after you look at it. Or if you're already looking at it, then it takes a second before it starts blinking. But if you walk in and then look at it, then it blinks uh, directly when you look at it. And then you're here. So the clipping just skips this one room. And we're unsure currently whether that's getting the extra cube and doing this uh, clipping over here is worth it or not. Uh, but you can do your own testing for that whichever route you want to use with one or two cubes. But that's the new uh, glitch explained and the new route explained as well. Have fun with it and all you people who have already run lagless, your times are very outdated and we don't know what we're going to be doing with the leaderboards currently, but uh, I would assume most of you will replace your times with uh, this new route. If not, then we'll probably just leave your old time. And yeah, that's the walkthrough for the new lagless route. Have fun with it.